Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting adventure on our channel. Today, I was thrilled to share with you a very special journey we embarked on. It was not just any ordinary day, it was a day filled with mystery and excitement as I set out to uncover the secrets hidden deep within a mysterious base. As I started my day, I couldn't help but feel a rush of excitement. I knew something extraordinary was waiting for us in the depths of the unknown. The goal was clear. I needed to find the secret base where some of my friends had ventured before but had kept its location and contents a closely guarded secret. Today's adventure was more than just a journey, it was a doorway to untold stories and hidden secrets of Blaze and the Monster Machine's secret base waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to look. Today was not just an ordinary day, it was a quest. A shared adventure with a friend and a journey into the heart of the forest in search of the elusive secret base of Blaze and his monster machines. So with a heart full of curiosity and a spirit ready for adventure, I turned around and ran into the dense forest, the leaves crunching under my feet and the wind whispering secrets as I moved. I ran through the forest after what felt like an eternity. Something unusual caught my eye. Nestled between two towering oaks, there stood an old brick house. It seemed out of place, its red walls stark against the greenery as if it was hiding something mysterious. As I approached the small, somewhat unremarkable brick house nestled between the dense trees of the forest, my curiosity grew. From inside, I could hear movements, a sign that AJ was already busy with something important. As I peered curiously towards the windows, AJ emerged from the doorway. His appearance was a relief and also a spark of excitement. I walked up to greet him and his face lit up with a familiar smile it was clear he had been eagerly anticipating my arrival. We've kept it hidden on purpose, AJ explained enthusiastically as he stepped out to join me. It's not much to look at from the outside, but that's exactly why it's the perfect cover. We needed something low-key, something that wouldn't attract any unwanted attention from enemies or prying eyes. AJ's words made perfect sense. The simplicity of the structure was a clever disguise for the secrets that lay hidden within. As we talked, the pieces of the puzzle began to fit together in my mind. The less attention this place drew, the safer their secret base would be. With a wide grin, AJ then made an exciting announcement. Let's head to the actual base now. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. His enthusiasm was infectious, and I felt a rush of adrenaline at the prospect of finally seeing the hidden secrets of the base. This house, though not luxurious, seemed to hold more than its modest appearance suggested. I was about to discover the mysteries of Blaze and the Monster Machine's secret base, guided by one of my good friends who had been part of its creation. Today was shaping up to be an unforgettable adventure. As AJ and I stood at the edge of the forest, he shared with me an exciting possibility. We might find Blaze inside the secret base, probably working on something really special, he said with a twinkle in his eyes. Together, we walked deeper into the forest. With each step, my anticipation grew. Intrigued by the prospect of discovering something unique, I couldn't help but ask AJ for any hints about what it could be. To my surprise, AJ admitted, Honestly, I don't even know myself. Let's follow the path and find out together what Blaze is up to. With a mix of anticipation and curiosity, I followed AJ as he led the way. The forest around us was dense, with the sound of rustling leaves underfoot and the occasional bird call from above. As we walked, AJ's next confession took me by surprise. You know, I actually don't remember where exactly the base is, so we're in this search together. The revelation that even AJ was unsure of the base's location only added to the adventure. We continued walking, eyes scanning the surroundings for any sign of the hidden base. As AJ and I continued our trek through the forest, we wandered past towering trees and underbrush, thick with mystery, but still, the secret base eluded us. Along our path, we encountered sheep grazing calmly and a pig nosing through the undergrowth, reminders of the vibrant life that thrived in the forest. Despite these peaceful distractions, the secret base remained hidden, as if swallowed by the forest itself. Just as our hopes began to wane, AJ stopped abruptly, his gaze sharpening. 
I sense we're close now, he whispered with a hint of excitement. His sudden confidence rekindled my own excitement. Look across the river. That's where we'll find the entrance. As I looked where he pointed, the genius of their chosen location dawned on me. The base was masterfully concealed, nestled perfectly within the natural landscape, almost invisible to the unsuspecting eye. It's so well hidden, even I nearly forgot its exact location. Together, we made our way to the river's edge, the water flowing gently and reflecting the sun's light. Without hesitation, we plunged into the cool water, swimming across with determined strokes. The thrill of discovery propelled us forward as we approached the other side, where the hidden entrance awaited. Climbing out of the river, we stood before the entrance, cloaked in shadows and mystery. Here we are, AJ announced, a note of pride in his voice. Ready to uncover what's been hidden away for so long? His question hung in the air, filled with the promise of revelations soon to unfold. As we prepared to open the secret base, I could hardly contain my anticipation. What lay beyond this cleverly disguised entrance? What secrets had Blaze and the monster machines managed to keep so well hidden? The answers were just beyond the threshold, waiting for us as we readied ourselves to step into the unknown. As AJ and I stood before the secret entrance, concealed beneath the river's edge, he turned to me with a serious look. Blaze must be inside, working on something important. We need to be careful not to disturb him, his eyes reflecting a mix of excitement and caution. I nodded in agreement, understanding the importance of the moment. We were not just entering a hidden base. We were stepping into a space where creativity and innovation took place. AJ then reached out and pressed a hidden button beside the door. To my amazement, the door slid open automatically, revealing the interior of the base. It was like walking into the future. The door mechanism was so cool and unlike anything I had seen in the forest outside. As we entered, I was immediately struck by the vibrant red walls that enveloped the space. It felt like stepping into the heart of Blaze's world. On both sides of the entrance, posters adorned the walls, one on the right of Blaze and AJ, heroes in their own right, and another identical one on the left. These images not only added a personal touch, but also celebrated the bond and the adventures that Blaze and AJ had shared. The base was more than just a hiding spot, it was a showcase of their journeys and achievements. Each item in the base, from the posters to the sophisticated door, told a story of creativity, friendship, and daring exploits. It was clear that this place was built not just for secrecy, but for inspiration, and as a sanctuary for ideas. Just before reaching another door, two large posters flanked the entrance, their size and prominence making a bold statement about the importance of what lay beyond. I turned to AJ, unable to keep my awe to myself. This base is really cool. He reached for the door, and as it swung open, Blaze himself looked up, startled by our entrance. His initial surprise quickly turned into a welcoming smile as he recognized us. I stepped forward, eager to learn more about his current project. We've been exploring the base and it's incredible, but we're really curious. What are you working on right now? As I stood next to Blaze in the depths of the secret base, he shared his current dilemma. I've been trying to repair this car for a while now, but I just can't seem to get it right. The car, an intricate model, sat partially disassembled on the workbench, its components laid out like a mechanical puzzle waiting to be solved. Seeing his evident struggle, I offered my help. Maybe I can give it a try. Sometimes a fresh pair of eyes can make all the difference, I suggested, hopeful that together we could crack the code of the stubborn vehicle. Blaze's face lit up with relief and gratitude. I'd really appreciate that, he responded, eager for any assistance to move past the current impasse. Taking a moment to get a better feel for the place, I wandered around the base, inspecting the walls adorned with posters that told stories of past adventures. One poster in particular caught my eye, featuring Blaze and AJ with a heroic stance. I paused, taking in the details, the vibrant colors bringing the depicted scene to life. I moved on to another poster where Blaze was illustrated, explaining something about a blue car guy, his expression animated and full of passion. The narrative of the poster hinted at previous challenges and the teamwork that had overcome them. 
Further along the hallway, I discovered yet another poster, this one showcasing a striking blue truck. The image was bold and impactful, echoing the themes of strength and perseverance that seemed to define Blaze's adventures. Each poster, each piece of machinery, and each tool around me was a testament to the adventures and trials Blaze and his team had faced. This base was more than just a hiding spot or a workshop. It was a gallery of achievements, a living museum of their collective journey. As I followed Blaze through the maze of the secret base, he paused before a poster that featured just him. With a proud smile, he pointed at it and then turned to me. If you manage to fix what I've been working on, you can even take it for a spin, he offered. His eyes sparkled with the challenge he had just laid before me, and I felt a surge of determination to succeed. Blaze then led me to the workshop area, where the red car he had been struggling with was parked. Right in front of the car stood a double chest. Inside, it was filled with an assortment of blocks and items essential for car repairs in this unique world. With careful precision, I placed the black concrete where the missing wheel should go. As I continued working on the car, I used the stone slabs that I found in the double chest to outline the vehicle's shape. Watching as the base of the car took on a vibrant, sturdy appearance, just as Blaze had envisioned. Next, I climbed atop the car using the black concrete blocks as makeshift steps. From this higher vantage point, I began to cover the top of the car with red wool, giving it a smooth, uniform finish that contrasted sharply against the rigid texture of the concrete. I walked around to each wheel, placing buttons in the center of the black concrete blocks. The buttons, simple yet crucial, acted as the screws that held the wheels firmly in place. It was these small touches that often made the biggest difference in functionality. For the headlights, I used the item frames I had taken from the chest. I placed each frame at the front of the car, filling them with bright yellow wool. The wool glowed under the light, mimicking the powerful beam of real headlights. I then moved to the back of the car to work on the stoplights, using the same method but choosing a different placement to ensure they were visible from behind. Blaze! I think the car is almost done. To finish, I added the final touches to the car by placing two buttons on the doors as handles. These small round buttons gave a finished look to the doors, making them fully functional and aesthetically pleasing. The car now looked not only operational, but also inviting, ready to take on any adventure that lay ahead in the vibrant world of Blaze and the monster machines. The car is now done. Let's take it for a spin. He led me to an underground road that ran beneath the secret base, a hidden track perfect for a test drive. The air was cooler here, the space wide and echoing with the potential of high-speed adventure. As we approached the newly completed car, its red and black colors gleaming under the subdued lighting of the underground road, Blaze gestured for me to take the driver's seat. I climbed in, the interior of the car just as impeccably finished as the exterior. Blaze took his position beside me. Without waiting for his reply, I counted down. Three, two, one. But before I could even hit the accelerator, Blaze, with his characteristic speed, zoomed off ahead of me. The car responded beautifully as I pressed down on the accelerator, the engine roaring to life with a thrilling burst of speed. The wheels gripped the underground road as we raced, the thrill of the challenge adding to the excitement of the moment. Blaze was quick, but I was determined to catch up. Feeling a mix of determination and a hope for a quick fix, I pulled the car over to the side and got out. I thought maybe restarting the car might give it a boost, a secret trick to unleash more speed. So I jumped out, then back into the driver's seat, restarting the engine with a roar. But by the time I was back on the track, Blaze was already completing his second lap and zooming into his third. Despite the overwhelming speed of Blaze, I didn't allow myself to feel discouraged. Instead, I was impressed by his prowess and motivated to at least complete one full lap. I shifted the gears, the engine responded, and I pushed the car as fast as it would go. The car moved smoothly now, gaining momentum. As I neared the completion of my first lap, Blaze had already finished three, his energy unflagging. Finally, as I crossed the finish line, completing my lap, I felt a mix of triumph and awe. I pulled the car over and stepped out, turning to Blaze, who was waiting with a grin. 
Thanks, Blaze, for this awesome race. And thank you to everyone who joined us today. This car, though not as fast as Blaze, is a masterpiece we built together in this incredible secret base.